Yeah, I mean, the fast movements, you see that a lot with people that can move fast when no one's threatening them. And right. then as soon as someone's attacking them, they fall apart. Wolf is the exact opposite. He can't move quick on his own, but in scramble situations, he knows exactly what he needs to do. And we're getting right back into another one. So. Yeah, we're kind of seeing like the loser's finals of these this previous match. <laughs> right. Oh, and uh, interesting. So Henny, of course, still Falcon. But Blugo swapping to Kirby. Yeah, playing Kirby of his own. And again, Blugo's Kirby is, is no slouch. And uh, Wolf is very good at the Kirby ditto, though. So no surprise, he, he didn't want to play that. Yeah. Um, it's interesting to see after how well Henny, how good Henny looked against Epad's Kirby. You would assume that Epad's Kirby is a, a bit stronger, but I don't know. Uh, Blugo's is looking a bit more dominant to start this one. Yeah, Blugo is yet to even be hit. Uh, oh, not misses not a that great edge guard. guard. I, I think he m underestimated Falcon's distance there. Yeah. Fair. Kind of an <laughs> unusual Every option. Hit of I it. think he meant to bear there. I think he yeah. didn't mean to jump turn around. Oh yeah, I was gonna say you gotta gotta be able to F smash there. Um, classic. Two stocks without even being hit. Uh, gets gets the grab, but this is gonna be a tough one. Falcons uh, has a okay punish game against Kirby, but it's not on the same level as the uh, uh, Pika Falcon matchup. You know the the combos aren't free. Yeah, well, what we saw in the previous match with with Henny's Falcon was that. He's able to get these combos, but a lot of these combos end with Kirby off stage, right. not necessarily dead. And then you need to get the edge guard, right? And getting those edge guards is Hook. not easy. Uh, I I think he could have gone for the reverse up air there to at least push him further off stage. Like you said, he wasn't getting a kill, right? Yeah. But he had an There's opportunity some great to push Kirby off stage. Blue go. Not going for the flashy tech chase jump to the side platform. Just building damage here. Well, the re reverse F tilt. <laughs> yeah, and uh, Henny's willing to make the uh, committal approaches that Falcon needs to make in this matchup, but he's off on the timing. He'll get punished for it. So he just needs to kind of work on that. Probably use one of these. Okay, I had a big breakfast. So uh, Blue Go, 155% or Henny, sorry, Blue Go using these up tilts. It's funny that he keeps using the up tilts regardless of Falcon's percent. Right. They, it's mainly just like a defensive neutral tool. Hitting him up there doesn't really get anything. Here though, the up tilt is massive. Tech chases him with the bear. I don't love that because it kind of lets Falcon get out. But still, 57% is quite a lot. Just finds the grab. Oh, and he contests that up tilt and it uh, really <laughs> just, pays off. Just jumps up with a dare. Interesting way to finish the combo. Kind of a frame trap. Got a decent amount of percent on him. This is actually not a terrible position. He's just got to actually be able to clean up the stock. <laughs> just walks into the up tilt. This wall of up tilts for Blue Go. Can Henny find an answer? Yeah, I mean, that is one of the plays Falcon can make is to grab between those up tilts, but Henny is not Alvin, no offense. You know, it's, it's tough. It's really tough to do. Well, that shield drop dare looked like one answer to me. Yeah, great. Calls him out. Yeah, great answer. Unfortunately, gets hit off stage. This could be it. Blue go, yeah, easy and, edge yeah, guard. Blue go smart, jumps away, finds the bear, takes game one with a ton of up tilts. Yeah, and Henny was kind of uh, bringing that back near the end. But we'll see if maybe uh, he was figuring pieces of Blue Go's game out. Perhaps Blue Go felt a little comfortable at the end. Who knows? But we're getting the same matchup in game two, so we'll see how these two adjust. Yeah, it seems like Henny is not uh, doing the Pikachu counter pick anymore. I remember he, he definitely tried it at one point. Mm -hmm. But it seems like he's just sticking it out and wants to develop this matchup with Falcon. The runoff dare, but he misses the Z cancel. Neither player finding a big punish there. All right, round two. Gets another dare. Oh, Falcon back aggressively on. jumping back on stage, but doesn't get punished. Just Running into, runs into the up tilt. Blue go waiting. There we go. Gets an up smash. Great DI from Blue go. It makes that punish very difficult. I like Blue go's recoveries here. He uses all his jumps. Even when he could get on stage faster, he's going to wait and make it as yes. ambiguous as possible. Yeah. 
Oh, I think he actually wanted up air there instead of the up smash. How did that? What happened there? Uh, Kirby scrunched down when he landed, so the grab went over him. Wow. Yeah, but he a, does find the, fo the F throw to up air to kill. He was very fortunate not to get punished there, and instead he, he takes advantage. Yeah, I really think of those lethal up airs as kind of a Falcon main thing. You don't see people switching to Falcon that necessarily are going to know those up air kill percents right. the way Falcon mains will. Look at Blue go here. He's so patient, uses all of his jumps to find the exact right position. <laughs> this roll mix up is a little unusual, and his dare this time gets grabbed. Oh, Blue go could have acted out of that. Oh, the down air would have done it there, I think. Yeah, nice DI. Keeps himself alive. 88% though. I want to say Blue Go's DI is saving him, and yeah. Henny needs to adjust for that. Meanwhile, Henny, it seems like not DIing too much, sometimes gets hit with. Whoa! <laughs> the raw F smash in between the up tilts. Yeah, Great that's play. an adjustment. If you want to keep up tilting, fine. Yeah, just this is hit an S you with the foot. Right, great punish from Blue Go. Can he get the edge guard? Yeah. Oh, the fast fall dare puts him pretty low below the stage, but Kirby can make, make it back, back, and we're tied up two stocks to two. I think if Henny had gotten hit by more of that down air, he it might, might have disoriented Blue Go enough. Yeah, he might be oh. right. It oh, just jumps on stage with a Falcon Punch. Oh, and he gets him again. Wow, two quick ones. Yeah, that was such a quick stock. Henny on his final stock here, taking a moment to compose himself. Oh, he tries oh. to dash grab the downer, but yeah, this time, not enough time. Again. Yeah, hard read up smash on that tech chase. Yeah, Henny finding himself in a similar situation to the last game where he really has a chance to bring this back, um, but he is down a stock. Yeah, it's winnable for Falcon, but he needs to find some way to open up Blue Goat. He just is not Great down it. air, gets the grab, toss him off stage. Good move, just needs to edge guard now. Not unleashing the taunts, and he just up airs him. That oh, almost kill. I thought that might have killed, yeah. Misses the Z cancel, and just F smashes him to bring it to last stock. That is a Falcon main thing. You were talking about the, yeah, the knowing that's, the that's, F smashes. That's, that's, that's more of a Falcon main bad habit, I think. <laughs> you know, you need some of those, like, YOLO moves. That's even the best, like, boom. He would throw out a Falcon kick or an F smash. It's good that that's necessary to win because it makes the matches more exciting, I think. It does. Those were some exciting S-Matches. I think yeah. Henny took, uh, took two stocks with him. So maybe seeing a bit of 